When I was a younger, I guess for, for many years, the, the work had a documentary aspect to, uh, to it. And I you know, feel that this was the appropriate place to start as a photographer. And, um, you know, I think that's where most people started and ended in photography for, for many, many years. And that was traditionally the role of a photographer, especially in the 60s and 50s. That, you know, they tried to document the world in terms of what was out there rather than what, than what was inside in many ways. I guess uh, beginning in the early 80s when I started to work in the small towns of South Africa, um, I noticed some of my pictures somehow or another got across a certain stream, a certain river. I, I was quite amazed at these pictures. I couldn't, they were different from anything I took before. So they were like sign bearers, if you might want to call that, um, something that was telling me I could get, get somewhere else and it was leaving me uh, with a strong sense of significance, those, those pictures. I said something to myself, these, these speak more of the essence of me rather than something out there. And I started to try to find a way of getting across that river more and more and staying across that river. And so I just plodded along taking pictures and it was really a hobby. And um, it was a hobby uh, up until my uh, third book, Plotalon Images from Rural South Africa. And that was done between 86 and 94. And when I published this book, it was like a bombshell, I think. And I really uh, wasn't prepared for this, didn't expect it. I think it was two things that uh, created it a bombshell. You know, it's easy to, say the superficial thing that it opened up a wound in South Africa, it showed a group of people that they were hidden behind propaganda, if you want to call it that, that the uh, apartheid government uh, didn't want to be seen to be weak, disorganized and minimalized. And those pictures showed a group of white people that weren't able to cope, um, were, having, were very worried about their future. On the other hand, um, if that was the only concept behind these pictures, they would have never had impact. I think the, uh, the pictures went way beyond that. Um, they actually uh, said something about the humanity's inability to cope. They said something about our inability to order the world, to not be able to, to act in, in a very effective manner. And they said something about our own marginalization, I guess in the face of events and time itself.